Hey, I'm the Kathleen Gamer, and this is Pro Cycling Manager 2019 Stage Racer episode number 36. It's already almost a month later as we just went about three and a half weeks without any races. We moved straight into stage two after Viviani took the opening sprint stage with essentially a prologue, technically time trial, just 8.6 kilometers. So it'll use a lot more of our prologue rating than our time trial rating, which my prologue's not great. My time trial rating is really good. So it'll be difficult to pull away with this one, but we'll move into it. Uh, I'll actually be one of the first to go out as with the quick sim for that first stage, we didn't lose any time, but we were at the back. My prologue is 74. That's on the low end. That's very much on the low end. So I might average out to about a 75 with that time trial. So no fireworks here. I'll be lucky to get a top 20, really. Looks like things are ready to go. Should be about the tenth rider or so to to start. Woo! Top ten on the stage, really? Okay. If you say so. Thirty-three. Okay. Also, a little confusing on that one, but sure, why not? Okay, looking at the profile, it's not completely flat, but it's only 8 kilometers, so these tiny little undulations are not going to affect anything. The wind is not going to affect anything. It's calm. It's easy. There's a couple technical sections towards the end. And here we go. First time... One of the first times, anyway, in our national time trial champion jersey. Set off in a 77, and that looks to be about right for us. That's amazing how quickly that slight downhill recovered a little more energy. Time check, six seconds down. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> And with these technical sections, they're going to be slow moving through here, right? A little uphill. This can make up some time. Wow, that's actually 4% gradient. Another little downhill. Final K. 99 to the end. Fourth place, nine seconds down. Felipe Ogana, who just took, let's see, third, fourth at the Worlds in the individual time trial. Alex Dowsett was up there as well. Tony Martin did okay, didn't have a great run. Uh, but we're, we're right there with some of the best time trials in the world already in this one. See how well that time holds up as we go along. For now, it's holding up just fine. I haven't even moved out of that fourth position that I started in. Now I slip a spot to fifth to Carizosa. As far as I know, that's a new one. Victor Campanarts. Second favorite. Oh, he had a terrible time trial at Worlds. Poor guy. Crashed. And then chain popped off. Uh, another couple K down the road after that. And he, he lost a lot of time. He was outside of the top 10. Still not far outside of the top 10 at that point. I've slipped to 7th. See the Kav also up there in 4th place. I said top 10 was going to be really hard with my prologue rating 
even with the plus two. It's only a 76. Time trial was an 81, so maybe I had a 77 today. Maybe. But that was still, that was a strange one. Uh, my whole team is done. So I don't know how many writers are left, but for now, anyway, I'm holding inside that top ten. And I did! Philippe Ogana wins the stage over Campin Arts. And I took seventh. Okay. Egon Bernal, competitor for the overall, is there in ninth. General classification, Campin Arts is in the lead ahead of Ghana. Ironically, it's weird how that works sometimes. That's a good evaluation worth 10 points. Um, we're not too far off from the next level now. We're also not too far off from a fitness peak. So we're at stage three of the Vuelta Andalusia. And even though this stage is almost completely flat, there's only one categorized climb the entire day. It's only a category three, and it's very short, but it's eight kilometers from the finish, and it's very steep. So this has sprint written all over it, but when you, ca when you take into consideration how steep that climb is, it'll most likely come down to a puncher today. So with 22k to go, we're getting set, ready to go for that climb. We're already going uphill now. Peloton's completely together, all 116 riders. Let's go and bring it on down so that we are ready to go. We're gonna speed it up a little bit more, times four speed till we get a little bit closer to the climb. Now here's what I wanna do actually, 16k to go. Uh, sprint train this. Mix it up a little bit. You might be a sprinter. I have no idea anything about you. De La Parts. Meshach. Bernas. Okay, Simon Geshka. I know what we've got in Geshka, so. Uh, let's follow Geshka. Well, it's not even about the climb for me, really. Uh, but he should have a flat rating that's good. I need a sprinter behind me. I think that's Frank Shack. I have a plan, and I need two guys behind me. Somebody else who looks like a sprinter, maybe him. Uh, we'll use you because you have the positive race day condition. De La Parte is the one who looks like they're not doing too well. And I want you to start a little acceleration here. I'm gonna put some pressure on this field. Here's Bernas. Fifteen kilometers remaining. There's Ocean. Come on, Gratic. Well, we can see that the Come on, guys. Get up there. Geshka's the furthest back right out. now. We've reached the front, but not all my team is there yet. Still waiting on Geshka to get through the field. Come on. Once you get past these couple riders. We'll be in the clear, Geshka. Really, we're already there. Oh, gosh. I hate how my team works. It happens every time. You try to do something 7, 8K before you need to do it, and they still don't get into the place they need to get in. So, Geshka, you're going to slip to the back of the group. Nobody else is in position. Good. Uh, now, I was looking for some support, and it didn't quite 
materialized where it needed. Two and a half K to the top. Uh, De La Part, you're gonna go 99. Okay, so tail part's done. Go Bernas. Five hundred meters to the top. Let's go. A little bit of separation. This was not what the plan was. But over the top we're gonna have a chance to recover. We pulled nineteen seconds. Those guys up front aren't going to be making too many friends today. Okay, sit up just a little bit. Six K to go. Twenty seconds clear. Only twenty-five riders chasing. And we're coming up on the flat. Now we need to ease off a little bit as we get down to this flat section. 3.7k. Still 17 seconds. 3k. It's technical, so I think I can speed up a little bit. 2k to go. Coming up on the finish. 10 seconds. 13 seconds. Don't run out of energy yet. Ah! I didn't run out of energy, but here comes the sprint. The actual sprinting capable guys. Wow, Bernal takes third. How did he pull that off? Caleb Ewan, how did you lose? Viviani, how did you lose? Oh, and I still only get 20 seconds. too far out. The plan, the plan <laughs> had been to to go hard over the flat, coming up to that climb, damage the field a little bit, get to, we, to where we were in front, use one rider ahead of me, which would have been Geshka, to push hard for the first K or so, and then near the top, push hard myself without some sort of breakaway split thing but just push then using teammates across the rest but we just ended up in that weird position where we weren't dropping anyone it wasn't doing any damage and I wanted to split the field more than I wanted to go for the sprint stage and I did that and there's only 20 or so riders and pretty much my whole team there because of it. So my whole team benefited from the effort. So it worked out, I guess, better and worse. I, I didn't compete for the overall as I was only 22nd, but we've got time gaps from 27th on back. And now I'm in third. Part of their teammates. Alone, it looks difficult unless an ideal opportunity offers itself. Today is an important day. For what I need to get top three on stage, I am the leader. It's a big climbing stage. That's all important. That all matters. But it's not just that. By the way, I'm leading the KOM at the moment. Second in the under 25s. Of course, the leader. Well, I consider him the leader. He's actually in second place. He got Bernal would be the leader of that competition but it's not just an important day because of this stage it's an important day because well doing the math and the math in this game is sometimes simple more simple than it seems today is the day that I establish a fitness peak meaning tomorrow I'll be starting my fitness peak the unfortunate thing for me is that today is the day that I establish it. 
and not yesterday so that I could be on it today so I could have a plus two to my race day condition. No, today we're just nice and even balanced at a zero. I do at least have the fitness high. It's 98%, so my mountain rating is an 82 today. My resistance is a 74. Certainly could have been better. And we could go out and win this thing if I had that fitness peak. Now I think I'll be defending against the actual favorite, Egon Bernal. Beyond that, though, I very much can contend in this stage. If I can hang with him, we can do this. We've got 12 riders off the front, but seven of them are just off the front and not really pulling away. So I think somebody in that seven is and undesirable for that group. So we speed up a little bit. The reason why we're already live at this stage is, well, first climb of the day, the longest climb of the day, we're already at the base. So we're starting to go uphill 2.4 for now, but it's gonna get a lot steeper here in just a little bit. And a lot of riders will be dropped over the next 25 kilometers. I would venture to say that we'll be down to 35 or 40 by the time we get to the top of this climb, even though the stage has only just started. Those riders on the front did get there, they did get established, but they might not make it to the top of this climb still out front. It's entirely possible that they will at least shatter a couple of riders coming back now. Oh, it's starting to rain. The Australian writer whose name just flashes for a moment. <laughs> he's about to be caught. But you know there's not a lot of pace when he's already shattered and beat and his shoulders were going wah, wah, wah a little bit ago. 16k to go. I'm going to put a little pressure on here to the field. This is not damaging me at all, but it is damaging the field considerably. We're down to 102 riders, 101 riders. I don't want to leave everyone behind, I just want to put a hurting on. And it wouldn't be a bad thing to collect some KOM points. And we'll have plenty of time to recover and get to the next one. Ooh, I'm off the front right now. I've made it to the front. I've been caught. Again, I get away. Madrazo, who for a while was in the KOM hunt at the uh, Volta Espana this year in real life. We've got an 18 second lead over uh, an ever increasing group. Madrazo doesn't want to work with me, so I need to sit up and recover a little bit as we have 5k still to go to the top. I've done the hurting. We're down to 53. Simone Geshka still here. 57. 3k to go to the top. I'd like to get that KOM. Two K to go. It's not as steep here. Just four degrees. There we go, we get to the top, and not being challenged, okay, good, nice, big points right there, 10 point lead over Pedrero, and ultimately I did what I wanted to do, I put a hurting into the group, but it's a long while before we have another climb, we're going to have a big descent here, I'm already recovering from it. Uh, Geshka, though, I'd much rather have you uh, go to get water right now. Ocean coming back, okay. Actually, not a good thing. We're back up to 72 riders just like that. That's not what I was hoping for. I was trying to thin the field. New breakaway trying to form. And they're attacking a sprint point here. I would have loved to have claimed three seconds. Not happening. Sprinters went for it. We still have sprinters in this group. 
Peloton's back up to 83 riders now, plus riders off the front. If you guys aren't interested in following what I started. Two minutes down and too many riders off the front. Points are already going to be claimed on this one. But it's category two, so it's less points. And the final climb is going to have a bunch of points as well. And I should be there or thereabouts at the top of that one. Still lead. Well, we're going to sit back and enjoy the ride for a little bit. Sprint point coming up. Down to one rider left off the front. It's Madrazo. He went and claimed the 10 points on that previous climb. But, ah, uh, too late. I'm too late. Now ah, they're going for it again anyway. There's Viviani. Guys sprinting for it. Three guys sprinting for it. So, points classification is still up for grabs. And they are fighting for it. So sadly, they're stealing the seconds there that I would otherwise be very happy to steal for the overall. Especially when Bernal is now ahead of me on that overall. The final stage, the stage after this one, is another punchy one. But it's, even though it's classified hills, it's a big climb similar to the final climb for this. So big climb, surprise it's not classified as a mountain stage. Peloton's up to 92, and Madrazo's been pulled back, so winner will come from this group. And I have four teammates with me, and I'd like to use them up, not on the first part of the climb that we're about to hit, but definitely after that. And I think all of them are right here. Yes, they are. I would like them all to follow me, except for... Maybe De La Part. Not 99. But I still want somebody in front of me. Yeah, actually, no. Here's what we're going to do. You're going to protect. And then everybody else is going to follow. Geshka at the back, because he's the best climber. Ocean was the second one to come, so we'll put him there. And you're going to follow me. Why? Because I'm stronger than you guys are. And I want you here. I want you alive. I want you ready. And I can respond to anything if this first part of the climb, if anything happens. But see that steep section? Those guys are going to come forward. And they're going to attack it. So I'm trying to give them a free tow up this first part. Still going through it though. Still going. Still going. De La Part's getting pretty tired, but they're doing okay. Peloton's actually shrinking here. And now we've got a little movie star train on the go. Now, here's what we're going to do. Uh... Bernas is going to take over. So I'm now going to follow Geshka. And actually, no, Dale Part. You still have a part to play, pun intended. Get out of the way. The riders are entering the last 10 kilometers of the stage. Come on, Bernas, get up there. Taylor Park coming forward. There's a baller in the pack. A rider is flat on the road. Well, I've got Taylor Park's ratings, but he's got this minus three race day condition, so he's quite tired compared to his teammates. And he's done. No, we're not going to go to 99, but I don't think he's going to have quite the pace De La Part was able to do. Let's 
So 92, under 6K now. And we're already into the steepest section now. Yes, we are. Ocean. Ooh, he did not last long. Gashka's still here. I'm gonna get him to bury himself for a little bit. Because I will soon be on my own. And Peloton's still at 86. Boy, we have not done the damage that I would have expected at this point. Use my gel. Gashka, give me a 99. There's Bernal, right? Hey! say take position here I mean take position here now we're down to 23 riders and we're starting to see an acceleration by Bernal 2.9 K to go and I'm still looking pretty good and a lot of riders are about to slip off the back 15 2.4 K 10 riders 2 K to go two riders we just rode everyone off of our wheel I'm keeping up with Bernal 1.6 Not enough energy to attack him. We're just hanging on here. Just hanging on. I think he's about to drop me. Yep, there he goes. He'll take the win. But I'll take second. That's still really solid. So Bernal for the win, I get second. It's a minute and a half, almost two minutes later before Hugh Carthy and Wout Poles cross line. Sivakov in fifth. Schlegel. That outside of the taking second to the Tour de France winner in real life. And the superstar of the here and now. That was an outstanding result. One I could be very happy with. I'm trying to remember what the obse objective for the stage was. Was it to win? Or was it top three? Okay, good. It was top three. Because that we very much achieved. And we will be solidly into second place now. We hung with him all the way until the last handful of meters where he just sprinted away from us. I'm glad I didn't try to attack at any point there. 30 seconds behind, but a minute 50 to the chase group. So very, very... Uh, positive in terms of the gap between us and everyone behind. We're not that far behind Bernal, but yeah, you can see just how strong he is. I've seen a lot of little splits pop up here and there, but it's all yo-yoing back and forth right now. Uh, the breakaway originally had 10 riders, 9 survived. They had over a 6 minute lead. It's down to a minute 24 to the last now riding solo Katusha rider. And Peloton's shrinking slowly it's at 89, so we haven't had too many riders go off the back, uh, but it is definitely heading in that direction. Now, with that fitness peak, I was supposed to have a plus two, I still only ended up with a plus one, so, so far to start the season through three races, well, here's a couple things. One, I have not had much luck with the race day condition draws really late last season or at all to start this season. As I've had a lot of negative random draws on that over and over and over again when I'm supposed to have good condition or at least zero. 
had a lot of negatives recently. But anyway. Team is getting fairly tired. I'm a little bit tired before we head into what is that final climb of this race. And we'll get our finish taken from there. Bernal has a pretty comfortable lead. I'm pretty comfortably in second. I want to make sure I don't blow up. I don't think I'm going to beat him, but the team thinks I should win the stage today. The mountain and hill rating are good. The resistance is pretty good. But there is still a bit of fatigue right now, so it's it's not a given, and Bernal is going to be really tough to beat. Uh, but we'll see if I could at least get second, if not get the, the stage win today. The nine riders are back together. They still have a minute to the good, but they will be caught relatively soon as we head into the final, final part of this stage. We do open up with a little bit of a climb, and then another little bit of a climb before the actual final climb. And we're about to start those uh, at the base of this valley here in just a moment. Speed it up to that point as we go. So we're already almost two months into the season. That's somewhat significant otherwise, other than the fact that that's kind of how the season starts. Right? You come back to training, you get a couple races in, you get your legs loose before you actually start racing. Uh, but we are at that point where we're definitely trying to take it seriously now. And the team is not strong enough really to, to pull out and give me much support as we pull those guys back. Enios Sivakov on the front, working. Vetkov. There's Walt Poles. There's Bernal, race leader, right behind me. So right now he's got me marked. But Peloton's shrinking, and that's three Enios riders right at the front now with me. And Chunetki coming up and fading already. But we still have that one more. Moderate climb before we actually get on to the real thing. We're down to 8 kilometers now, and the peloton is shrinking very quickly. It's yo-yoing between 20 and 30 riders. But a lot of guys are already done. And look how tired I already am. Dang. Uh, go ahead and use that gel now, because at this rate, I'm not sure I'm going to make it to the top of this climb without the assistance of that gel. Bernas has regained contact. It won't last though. Don't want that gel to kick in. Ah, too soon. I wanted to be on that next part of the climb before it did. It's okay. Whoa, where did... Oh, Bernal's still marking me. He's behind me. Okay, let's take position. Let's go with him. Wait, come on. That's not taking that position. Okay. Back to maintain. Back to take position. There you go. 2.3k to go. And we just split off the last of the riders, so Wout Poles leading out. Now we're back up to 14. 1.9k. Not sure I have the energy for the whole distance here, as steep as this is. Poles is hurting. And we split off the others again. There it goes. There goes Bernal. And I am down to it, just trying to get there. And not lose time to these guys. Dan Martinez, Rodriguez, there's Schlegel. Yanetsko. Bernal takes the win. Dan Martinez takes third. Schlegel takes uh, second. Schlegel third. Rodriguez. I take fifth. Bernal's going to open his gap. I should still be in second overall. I don't get the stage win that they wanted, but... 
even with the bonus, the resistance is still only a 76, and that was that was brutal. That was steep. Well, pulls just decimated the field there, and somehow just kept riding people off his wheels, just like Bernal did. One of these days, I will be that strong to where I just ride everyone off my wheel, but I'm not there yet. Not yet. Still have ways to go. Hovering back and forth, which is really annoying. But really solid riders, well down. Uh, you got Prades, Pedrero, Tony Martin, Sivakov, Vetkov, Chernetki, all on the backside there. Finished ahead of all of them. Welt Poles, Shvilak, Hugh Carthy. It's a field full of talent. Oh, one poor rider. <laughs> well off the back here. There he comes. Now for the race highlights. Yeah, Bernal by himself. And then here's my group round in the corner fighting for second. <laughs> Minute 27 behind, but the gap to everybody else is small. Bernal obviously takes the win. I finished second, 214 down, over a minute ahead of Dan Martinez. And then Wout pulls and Rodriguez. He's going to claim the points jersey as well. I do get just enough to finish four points ahead of Bernal in the mountain climbers. That's why those couple climbs I went over took that so I got the KOM little bonus the under 25 so that's the downside of racing against Bernal because he's still under 25 even now third year in game and we take sixth as a team so fifth on the stage yeah that's bad but second overall fourth first second that's all good 64 points and now turn of the month we will definitely level up, if not sooner. I don't know if we have any races between now and then. suppose we can find out here real quick. No, Paranese is next. And that's what the fitness peak is for, is in preparation of Paranese. And so uh, I'm going to scoot forward to the end of the month real quick. And then we'll cut back. So, level 18. It only comes with a skill point. I'll spend that real quick. And let's see here. The willpower I've still never even used. So we can take the... We'll take that bonus. And let's see how we're doing on the season so far through the first two months. Only had the one World Tour race and we didn't do much for that. We picked up 20 points. But in the Super Prestige, we're in 12th. It's not bad. It's not bad. I mean, it certainly could be better. Uh, but it's a decent start to the season. But that's going to do it for this episode. I'm Decathlon Gamer. And remember, I'm aiming for the best of the best. So be sure to drop a like to keep this series on the go. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.